Top of the day to you on What's the Word Have You Heard? How are you living? Have you even looked to see? Are you living for yourself? Are you living for others? It's about how you are living. Not your outside, but your inside. So what are the treasures that you have in yourself? We always looking for treasures on the outside, but we never thought about we have treasures within us. Our parents, our grandparents, our ancestors, they all embedded through the word to build us up, to make us who we are. You are designed and created to be wonderful and beautiful. Okay, you're a treasure within, but you won't know until you start digging within to figure out who you are. It, are your clothes making you who you are in your mind or is what lies within making who you are in your mind? You must take time to just meditate and look around within yourself on the outside and just, you know, to evaluate, evaluate your surroundings and look within yourself, look outside yourself to see what you have, who you are. You are a diamond. You just haven't figured it out. So let's investigate. Okay, so as we begin to look at within ourselves, some people may think highly of themselves than they ought to, and some people may think lower than themselves. And I understand about low self-esteem, but gradually you can graduate from that. And every once in a while I might have a flare-up, but I'm so excited and I'm so grateful for who I am, who I am becoming. I mean, I'm not there yet, but we're going to work on it. And with you journeying with me, I know this is going to be a great journey. And we get to focus and share and it's caring. And we get to share the things that we didn't know that we saw within each other. You know, that it also lies within each other. So let's dig in. So now it is about springtime. So springtime cleaning. So let's put ourselves on the map and look to see what lies within and what we need to clean up, what we need to take out, what we need to put in. It's up to us. So let's evaluate how we live in. Are we living to for others to look at us as, oh, look at them. They got nice jays or is about our material things that we have on, or people like, oh, that person has a good spirit, they're kind, they're very generous, and they was raised right, they ma their manners are awesome, they're not disrespectful, you know, and look how they carry themselves, look at their mindset, they're going to be somebody one day, you know, they're very disciplined, they don't run with the crowd, all these things um, matters as you decide to I guess, create who you want to be. But you have to make that decision. No one else can make that decision for you. Okay? So decide what's in your heart, what is right, and decide what is wrong. And then you decide which one that you want to be. Okay? Choose to do the right thing. And don't be moved about it. You are a witness. And it's a witness that there is a God. He created you in his image and his likeness. So sometimes it's a more about a spirit, the spirit that within you. But we always want to look at the outside, all our imperfections. Oh, I'm not made like this person. I'm not designed like this person. Oh, look how I look. You know, one of my ears is, you know, smaller or bigger than the other. You know, we try to find all these imperfections instead of look at the biggest treasure that lies within us, our spirit. Our spirit, once we have a good spirit, it kind of overshadows everything else because that's what we need to be focused on, not the outer appearance, more so the inner appearance, okay? So have an attitude of gratitude. For one, you're still alive. You're breathing. You did not have to be here, but you were chosen to be here. So therefore, let's try to focus on those things to make us who we are, to build us up, not tear us down. Okay, so let's put our faith in the God spirit because he believes there's treasure that lies within us. And they are. There are words and things to help build us up, things that we told, but we won't slow down enough to meditate and to think and to write down. You know, they say write the vision. That way you can look at it and see the things that you want to do, things that you want to be, things that you want to change. And then you just dig into that treasure to find out to make yourself great. 
You want to be great? Be great together, okay? What's happening today to you? May all be well with you and journey on on peace, love, and that happiness. But guess what? Happiness is not by chance. So always dig into that joy because that lasts forever regardless of what happens to you or not. Well, peace and love to you. Blessings.